morning everybody it's Brooke with Mrs. Coghill Farm and uh, it's kind of kind of a dreary day here in Alabama Christmas is over it's um you know it's winter time it's just one of those days that you celebrate why are we celebrating today because today is Mary Carl's birthday so first of all, I wanted to say that happy birthday to our teenager who is now 14 years old. Boy, did that time go by fast. It sure did. Have you guys taken your decorations down? Do you even do, you, do, you even do any decorating? Because I'm thinking now that Christmas is over, I need to hop right to it and get my decorations down. We have a live tree, which means it has having to be watered and I'm kind of tired of doing that but that's not what Christmas is about I know that but your your decorations they come out but when do they go up well that was some of the cats but my moody replica has definitely seen his better day I don't know if he just wasn't in the Christmas spirit or what happened, but Bramble says he's seen his better day. Bramble, did you have anything to do with the Moody Christmas decoration being toppled upside down? Sylvester, did you, my friend, have anything to do with Moody getting topped upside down? Y'all, I think I'm going to save the ears and the garland that's around his neck. And I think I'll do this again next year. Um, I may make a Mildred next year instead of a Moody. That would be cute. Because by this time next year, hopefully both of our cows will be over at the barn area. And Mr. Moody will be in with, with Mildred and all is well. I said hopefully. We don't know what's going to happen there, but we anticipate that they're going to get along well and all is going to be good. So maybe we'll put a Moody on this side with a straight up head and a Mildred on the other side. It can be Moody and Mildred's barn, right? So speaking of Mildred, I just made my way into the barn where I don't know if y'all can see her or not, but she is in the stall. I think she heard me outside talking and she wanted to come for a visit. So, um, I'm in with the Silkies, and if you saw Jason's last video, we put, hey Mildred, waiting on her to move. We put the little baby Silkies that I had in my brooder, actually they were in a grow out part of the brooder, in with the bigger Silkies to see what happened. And y'all, they're all getting along just fine. It was an appropriate move to happen. I'm glad everything's working out. And I'm also glad things are looking better for me, health-wise. I kind of wanted to take a minute and update you guys because a lot of you have been asking and I really didn't know how to answer what was going on. But this past Saturday, that was the Saturday before Christmas, I started a new medication. The medication that I started taking is called Diclofenac Sodium. It is an anti-inflammatory in which when the doctor first told me that she was going to prescribe a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, I had my doubts. And the reason I had my doubts was, of course, I've taken ibuprofen in the past. I've taken Tylenol. I've, I've taken Motrin. I've taken things to try to uh, eliminate inflammation and nothing has helped. So anti-inflammatory to me meant something of that sort. Well, after a single dose Saturday morning, I felt better. And my preliminary thinking of the medication was proven wrong quite quickly. So I am taking two doses twice a day. 
50 milligrams. What's in the morning, what's in the evening. In the afternoon, I do start to feel some of that pain start to come back, but it's manageable. And that is that is where I, I need to be at this point. I realize that there are a lot of people that have autoimmune diseases, disorders that require a rheumatologist to diagnose their condition. And that being said, my general practitioner just wanted to get me something that would help me until we can get a diagnosis from a rheumatologist. My case has been discussed with a rheumatologist. However, I haven't been able to get in and, and do a face-to-face -face visit. While I'm still undergoing tests and I'm still undergoing um, um, some blood work and different things that may determine the cause before I even see a rheumatologist, the medication has helped me. Now, I did wake up this morning and I felt like I was back to square one. But quickly after taking my first dose, I, I'm back to being manageable again. And I feel like that's all I can ask for at this point is to be able to um, to be able to be managed, to be able to be tolerable while we wait on a diagnosis and um, and just just do the best I can. Now, I have noticed that while I mentioned in the first initial diagnosis that I had thrush, I have noticed that my mouth is still not back to where it was. And my tongue is still is still fairly pale, not to the extent it was upon the initial thrush diagnosis, but it is pale. And um, I'm not sure what that's what's going on with that. I know that there are lots of different health conditions that can be um, that, that a tongue can indicate a problem so to speak. That sounds strange the way I described it, but uh, something's going on and I know that. But um, I just wanted to, to take a moment and update you guys on where I am and and how I'm able to do as well as I have. A lot of you say, well, Brooke, you look good. Well, I think y'all. And sometimes people that are sick and undergoing health problems they do look good and there's no indicator on the outside that anything's wrong but um while again i'm not i'm not here telling my story to plead any pity or sympathy on me i just feel like i owe it i owe an update i owe a description of what's going on and um and and i will continue to do just that as things change y'all look at this sweet little kitty biscuit I certainly don't expect it to be any kind of a magical cure um, for me to find a perfect medication and everything go away. I don't expect that to happen, but I do, I do, um, I did wish for what did happen to happen, and that is manage what I have going on. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that have, has reached out to me telling me your story, telling me um, what you think may help. And I think my case is a true example that things can happen out of nowhere. Because up until this point, I was a very healthy 47-year-old uh, who was very active, you know, just, just one day at a time. Treatments may change, things may differ, but I'm gonna get through this. And um, there are gonna be days that are harder than others, but I'm, I'm just, just gonna do just that. I'm just gonna hang in there. Right, Bramble? Bramble is the most beautiful cat. They're all beautiful, but he is so big and just, just lovely. And he gets along, they all get along well with the chickens. All three cats are in here right now with the chickens and they could care less. Right, Ramble? All right, so I'm gonna head back up to the house because Dee Dee came out with me and I'm not sure she knows that I made it to the barn. 
So I'm going to go check on Dee Dee and see how she's doing. Okay, so I'm headed back towards the house and I see Dee Dee didn't make it very far. She's over in the first pasture and I'm not sure what she's doing. Dee Dee! Well, I'm not sure what Dee Dee's got going on over here. Rocky, what's she doing, buddy? I think you better get back. Well, she's got something real special over here, obviously. Dee Dee, what you got over here, girl? What you got? I'm not going to let Rocky get it. Come here and show me. Come here. What you got over here? Let's see. Is there a mouse in there, Dee Dee? Let's see what you got in here. You let me look. <gasps> Dee Dee. Oh my gracious. Are you saving that egg for later? Huh? Where are you going with it now? Uh oh. Are you gonna take it out of here? Oh, Dee Dee, let me get the gate for you, girl. Don't mind her, Bandit. She's on a mission. Where is she going with this egg? As she's growling. I don't know what she could possibly do with it. I'm just going to kind of stand back over here and y'all see she had it buried and I didn't know what it was. So I peeled back the, the covering that she had over the top of it to discover it was an egg. She looks like she might be going to take it under the car. Boys, y'all better leave her alone. Tucker sitting on the side by side. Let's see. Oh, she's going to the garage with it. Dee Dee! Please don't think you're going to bring that egg in the house. I know you're proud of it. But it cannot go inside, girl. I bet she's going to bury it in the rocks. Well, this little girl, she makes me very happy. But her collecting eggs is kind of funny. I haven't ever... I haven't witnessed this side of Dee Dee. Oh, my gracious. And that is a goose egg. So, you know, I can imagine how big that egg is. I don't want to take it from her, but... I know she wants to put it in a safe spot. Tucker, do you think you can help Dee Dee out? Oh, she's going to put it under that window box. Y'all look at her. I'm sorry, Gidget's barking. Oh, my gracious. Y'all look at her. She's covering it up with her nose. Okay, Miss Greg is not going to be too happy when she finds out that you've stole one of her eggs and covered it up. Come on, baby. I see her. Okay. I don't even know who this is. I've got Bandit over here with me, and he is just, he can't believe his eyes. He can't believe Dee Dee's over there burying an egg under the window box. And y'all, she's doing a good job covering it up. 
Look at the boys back here watching her. As soon as she walks away, I have a feeling they're going to get her egg. She may not walk away. She's growling right now. Okay, come on, girl. I think you got it. Y'all have got to see this mound that she's got going. Y'all look at the mound. The little mound that she's got going right here. I think I'm going to have to pick her up and make her come with me. Come on, girl. Dee Dee is the boss. I've known all along that Dee Dee's a special girl. But today, she showed me a side of her that I didn't know existed. She's an egg hoarder. I, th I hope y'all enjoyed seeing Dee Dee being so proud of her find today. And um, I don't know what you're going to do next, girl. You are simply amazing. That was a big egg. As long as you don't start laying eggs, we'll be okay. Hope y'all enjoyed and y'all be good.